So I left my hands What's up everybody? Dr. Eagles here from SFNA Online and in today's video we are going to show you let me find it here how to build this Yep They got them Nano Coaster Six Flags New England uh, This one's Superman I do have a Wicked Cyclone and that'll be the next video but we got this so uh, before we get into it uh, we're going to go step by step build this puppy and uh see what it looks like when it comes out but uh, before we do that if you're new here make sure that you subscribe make sure you click notifications and make sure that you are subscribed because some people have been getting unsubscribed for some weird reason uh, also um, if you enjoyed the video make sure you share it leave us a comment what you think do you have it did you enjoy building it did you find it difficult etc etc anyway let's get out into it and let's build this all right so there are a before you get in the instructions there is something that says read before starting which is this what you need is you need a nail clipper so that way you can uh, take these little weird pieces off to build this thing and you need them because there's little little tiny little things to get them out also comes with uh, where is it a set of instructions it doesn't seem like there's uh, how many steps there's nine steps it's beautiful as long as you do that so um, what you want to do, and you get a base. So what you want to do is here's your base. So let's see what it says before. It says helpful tips: use nail clippers to cut all tabs connecting the track pieces to the metal sheet. Remove each piece completely from the sheet before beginning. Peel the paper back off both sides of the plastic base pieces and assemble model with uh, with the edge lines facing up. Uh, Pre-bend the track pieces into the general shape of the layout. This will make it easy to put the tabs into the slots. So remember that. Uh, but if you build one, hey. So let's get. Uh, let's see how much. Let's see, let's see if this is a pain in the neck. I don't know if it is. Let's see how long that takes. I'll pick up my trash later. But let's see how long it takes for me to break it. Let's take bets while I'm building this. Well. Taking stickers off. Take bets. Leave them down there. As soon as you hear this, how long do you think it's going to take for me to break this thing? Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to break this thing. I'm pretty sure of that. But see, it's very tedious trying to get. I can tell you one thing. With the Wicked Cyclone one, I'm not going to uh, go this tedious. Oh, well, at least you can you can kind of I don't know how much of it you can see, but you can oh yeah if, you, if I put it right you can see over here some of the lines. Do I have my nail clipper? Yeah, I got my nail clipper. So what you want to do? <coughs> let's go with step one. Where's step one? Which piece does it want me to get? Step one. Uh, okay, okay, I get it. So step one, you want to get the squiggly squigglies. I don't know which one's the squiggly squigglies. It doesn't say. It really doesn't. I mean, I don't see any squiggly squigglies. So weird. I don't know what's what. I don't know which one is which. Like it doesn't say one, two, ten, fifty, whatever. It doesn't say that so I don't know what's what I really don't know well that's that so it's gonna be one of these pieces that are not attached to anything I guess I'm trying to figure this thing out on my own because the instructions see the problem is with this it doesn't say this piece here this you just gotta kind of figure it out so this is what I've done so far I've Started doing that. I kind of went out of order, but I'm just trying to get the pieces in. And one thing you got to do is, if you look, see these little tabs here? You got to make sure they're all the way in, and then you flip. See that little tab I'm touching right there? You got to make sure it's underneath, and it'll look like this underneath. So you can see the little metal tabs hanging out. That's what you need. So I, I'm not even really going in order. I'm going totally out of order just because this uh i know it sounds stupid like i probably shouldn't even be building this thing and i haven't broken it yet so we're uh we're getting somewhere 
but let's see if I can let's see if I can get this in. It's a pain in the ass. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. So I don't know if you saw that, it's in. Like that. I'm not gonna get that one in. Like I mean I know all us Costa nerds love this. Yeah, I love these things. They're a pain in the ass, I'm not gonna lie. Like, especially if you're trying to make it for, you know, like, I'm just trying to do this to help everybody out, like, make a video, and it's, it's not working out. I thought it was going to be a little easier, but that's all right. We can break this thing together. How about that? All right, got the tab, so that way that piece is locked in place. Now I just got to... I mean, the cool thing is you can bend the metal to make it fit if need be, you know? It's not in there yet. Come on, get in. There we go. Got it locked in place. So here you go. This is Superman the ride at Six Flags New England. I have this locked into place here. Uh, but so far, this is what I got. So uh, let's keep going and uh, be back in a second. Also note to self, just as a reminder, I pricked myself. Got a little boo-boo. Um, these metal pieces are sharp. You will get pricked and poked and prodded but uh here is the progress that i made i'm doing it totally as backwards from what they are uh, requesting but it's just the way my brain works and i need to you know do it that way because then that way i can figure out the other pieces because when you're plucking them off they look like this you don't know which way is what and what's going where i got that's the only pieces i got left as you can see like right there right here and right here and then there's a superman sign that's the station and then it's done i just gotta figure out which piece goes where i guess so we'll be back we'll be back all right so we got we got this we got the the station and the bunny hops at the end uh coming in so you can see that so you have a station bunny hops so we only got uh about one two three four five pieces left and this puppy's uh done so uh let's see what uh happens next all right so i finally built this thing i like to say stupid thing but i mean it's cool but penny has lots of cuts and probably like 40 minutes later uh i built it so here you go we have superman the ride superman da -da -da -da. So we got it. That's what it looks like. That's what it's going to do. And, uh, I don't know. Overall, cool pain in the ass. I wish the parts were labeled, like, number for per, uh, step, because they're not. Uh, other than that, I mean, a lot of them are self-explanatory. There's some of the little wiggly, squiggly spaghetti bowl things that just ain't, uh, what do you call it? And you're going to try and figure it out. But other than that, it's cool. Uh, not perfect. Well, I didn't do it perfect. I probably messed it up, but uh, it's cool. And we'll try Wicked Cycle and see how bad we messed that up. So, there you go. I don't know. What do you think? Think it's worth it? Do you think it's not worth it? Uh, honestly, I think for the price, without the discount, not worth it. It's like $35 for one without a discount. Uh, maybe 20 I think is the right price for that. About 20 bucks. Not worth 35 You know. They at least should come with band-aids or something. Some gauze. Some medical tape. I don't know. But it's cool. I built it. I got cut up. Kind of messed up. But hey. Is what it is. I like it. I dig it. Just my little spaghetti bowl area is messed up. But that's on me. But hey, we'll see you next time. Till then, keep on coasting, y'all. Peace. So I lift my hands to the God that guides me, to the one that finds me. Even in my darkest days, he walks beside me singing songs of freedom. Always singing songs of life. And they're leading me out of the darkness and they're bringing me into the light.